Okay, so part C, oh, it's written longhand, 2 minus a, uh, 1 my, uh, plus a half minus 1 a quarter plus 1 eighth, dot, dot, dot. Um, same rules. Uh, first, we better make sure it's, it's geometric. What would R be, and how would you find R when it's written longhand like this? Well, remember, R is what you multiply by to go from one term to the next. So we just have to make sure we, uh, we, we just have to find a number we can multiply 2 by and get negative 1, and then multiply negative 1 by and get a half, and then multiply a half by and get negative a quarter. So, yeah, and one way to get it is to take uh, the second term. You can take any term except the first term and divide by uh, the term that comes previous to it. So the easiest usually is to take the second term and divide by the first term. And then you double check it. Oh, yeah, 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 half is positive 1 half. Negative 1 half, uh, or po sorry, positive 1 half times negative 1 half is minus 1 fourth. It's going to work. So it's clearly geometric. Now, does this guy satisfy the requirement, negative 1 half? Yes. It's between negative 1 and 1. Yep. So let's find that sum using that formula. Uh, the nice thing is A is obvious, right? A is, A is the first term, so what's that? 2 over 1 minus a negative 1 half. Yeah. So what is that? 3 halves down there? 2 divided by 3 halves, what's that? 4 thirds. Okay, uh, you guys do part D. Anybody done yet? What? Yes. Why? Because What's R? So it's negative 1.03, which is actually less than negative 1, right? Oh, it diverges. We're done. But if you're not thinking about it, it's real easy to accidentally plug in that formula, right? And then you get nonsense. It's, it's, it, that answer doesn't work. Is this a formula where it says if it does convert, if it doesn't converge, then it diverges? Or do we know? What, it? Well, we do. If you go back, we know it diverges because if you go back to that SN that I mentioned earlier, yeah. if R, so we were dependent on this converging to zero, which only happens when R is between negative one and one. We talked about that yesterday. For the sequence R to the end to converge, R has to be strictly between negative one and one. So if, if this guy doesn't converge to zero, then we're going to be subtracting non-diminishing terms when computing Sn for larger and a larger n. And so there's no way that Sn could converge to, to one particular number. Okay. And what reasoning do you say? Like diverges because of what theorem? Uh, you all you need is this fact. That, okay. Um, if it's not clear that it's geometric, you could mention that it's a geometric series. But, I mean, that's implied when you say R is equal to negative 1.03. Okay. And also it was implied by the context. All of these were geometric series. But if that's not clear and, and you're trying to explain to somebody, then you definitely want to mention that word, the G word, geometric.